the more I do this, like, the more I really like this. What do you think? I think it is very fitting for, uh, for therapy day. I think so, too. Um, hi. Um, welcome in, everybody. Hello, Miss Ayla. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's group therapy night, and, and tonight we're going to talk about kind of like hopes, dreams, aspirations, and stuff like that. Um, maybe some of the ones we're working towards, maybe some of the ones we've achieved, maybe some of the ones that we've kind of moved on from for whatever reason. Um, but, uh, I thought that would be kind of a fun topic to talk about tonight. Um, so... You're a fun topic. Your face is a fun topic. Mm. Yeah. Fucking got you, didn't I? Fucking wrecked. Yeah, get Shrek, buddy. Yeah, or as Bean likes to tell me now, get Shrek Kachowski'd. Kachow. Kachow. Uh... Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So, um, fun fact before we get into, like, all of the, the feels talking, um, let's see. Oh, oh, Pretzel got an update. I'm very happy with this. This is neat. Let's try the chill piano again. <gasps> it did? Nice. I haven't looked at the store stuff in the last couple of days. Um, let's see. Get the music going. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so, y'all know Best Friend Mo. Um, we, we know and love Best Friend Mo very much. Um, but we also love her kitties. Uh, and, and my favorite of the bunch is the sweetest, most precious, precious angel baby. Um, Sir, Chef, Doctor, Reginald Antilles the Third, M.D., Ph.D., Esquire, also known as this precious angel baby. Oh my God! Yeah. So Mo took some really good shots of Bubba the other day, um, and we, like, we were talking about it. And so I told Krakow, I'm like, you have to do like a Sears Portrait Studio style photo composite like of Bubba. So he did make one of Bubba. Let me go grab that one real quick because that one's really good too. Um, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Uh there we go. So there's the sweet good boy Bubba. And of course I just showed you the one of of Weginald for the set. But like the the shots that Mo took the other day of the bubs were just they were too good not to. So and Krakow's like, you know, Cracko asked himself, he did, Cracko said he didn't have to go this hard, but for Bubba, he was willing to. Um, now, Bubba is far and away Cracko's favorite. Bubba is also far and away Bean's favorite, my Bean. So, of course, we're not going to get a print of the one that Cracko did of Wedgie without getting a print of the one that he did of Bubba. So, there's the sweet bean. Very excited with her 8x10 of Bubba. Yes, we got 8x10s. Oh by my tens. God. We got 8x10s of Moe's cats. Is it weird? Maybe. Is it wrong? Absolutely not. No. Absolutely not. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. That's right. That's right. They're, they're very good kitties. Sweet babies. Oh, yeah. So I'm 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 very pleased with our our acquisitions of these photographs. I got to figure out where I'm going to put it in here. Um cuz it needs to like it needs to be in here somewhere and frankly I think it needs to be somewhere visible. 
Like, I might, I might put it like there next to the hundred acre wood. Cause like, I, I really want it to be somewhere that's nearby. Um, cause he's the very goodest boy wedgie and I love him and I would die for him. But more importantly, I would murder for him, which I think really is the ultimate test of anyone's love. Like dying for someone is, you know, special, but you only get to do it once and then it's done. But murdering for someone, that means you're willing to do it multiple times and live with the consequences if you get caught. So, you know, <laughs> no, no greater love hath anyone than this, that he should murk a motherfucker for his friends. But yeah, so. <laughs> murk. Murked. Um, so yeah. Been, uh, it's a, uh, it's been kind of a, been kind of a roller coaster of a week. Um, I know I talked about this some on Monday, but uh, someone who is on our team at work, um, me and Lollipop's team at work, um, she put in her notice, uh, our product owner, and that really sucks. Um, yes. Like we are, to, to say that we're upset about it is honestly a very very poor understatement um so we work at a credit union um lollipop and i are software engineers on one of the teams uh one of the app development teams there and um our product owner amanda um because she's not a developer she has a different management structure so we're on the same team um but she reports to different folks than we do in the org chart so we're all under the um, the the greater IT umbrella, um, and she is under one of the the business groups. And when the pandemic started, everybody got sent home. Well, our management structure made the decision that we would stay home for good. Um, it was working out really well for us. Everybody was, you know, doing getting their job done. In fact. Our team has been doing the best work that we've ever done. Um, and so, you know, where it has like impacted other people in a lot of negative ways, we've been thankfully able to make the best of it. Um, so um, we, we got to stay home permanently as developers. Unfortunately, folks on some of the business groups, their management structures didn't make that same decision and they want them to be hybrid. Um, so I think like, what was it, like a minimum of two days, two days a week in the office they wanted them? Mm -hmm. And so um, my, our product owner, um, she, you know, asked, hey, you know, my team's fully remote. We're working really well this way. Is there any way that we can I can stay remote? And they said we are committed to being a hybrid team. Um, so that was the decision that upper management made. So she found a job elsewhere uh, where she can be fully remote. And he found that other place okay. very quickly, might I add? Like I don't, I don't, they, I yeah, well. One, they didn't. They haven't. Go ahead. But, I'm sorry. No, I was saying it didn't seem like they had been sitting long for that uh, on this decision to not pull, not let them be remote. No. So no, this she is, either jumped on that super early or she got this job off a real quick. I believe she got it quickly because I mean, we know how good she is. We know what kind of experience she has. There's no way that she didn't get that job like lightning fast. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're, we're extremely disappointed. Um, and you know, we know that we're going to get a good person to, to fill that role, but we're not going to find anybody to ever fill her shoes. And, um, that's been a really tough thing for us this week. Um, on the bright side, uh, after I think a couple of months, 
uh, about two months or so of being on an extended leave of absence, our direct manager is back. Um, who we like, who is just absolutely great. Um, and like our VP is awesome too. Don't get me wrong. Like I really like our VP, um, makes a lot of great decisions. He was the one that decided that all of the developers would stay home. Um, but the, uh, our direct manager, our, our actual manager, um, he's like, I don't think we could ask for a better manager. Um, you know, he's, he's incredibly empathetic. He understands the, our needs and, um, you know, a lot of the stuff that we have to deal with. So very, very thankful that he is back. Unfortunately, he also got blindsided with this, a bunch of stuff today because he just got back after being out for several weeks up to like two months. I, like I said, I don't remember exactly how long it's been. Time is an illusion. Um, so long. yeah, he, he's been gone a while. Uh, so yeah, I'm, so I'm, I'm again, I'm glad he's, I'm glad he's back. I'm very sad that our product owner is leaving. Um, but we're, we're kind of, we're dealing with it in the best way that we can. And by the best way that we can, I mean that lollipop and I are basically cutting, cutting the fool in every single meeting to try to extend our time with her as much as possible. Oh yeah. We are acting up. Yeah. Yeah. We are, we are being bad children. I like bad, bad, just like, you know, being slightly disruptive and also not like taking away, like taking focus off of the task at hand. Cause the, the sooner we get the task complete, the sooner she gets off the call. And that makes us sad. Cause then it's like, Every time she's off the call now, she's like, oh, Amanda's gone. Oh, I didn't tell you what happened in the fucking meeting this afternoon either. Or, I guess, late in the morning. Um, mm. So we had that meeting about the report. Right. And so, like, we're talking, 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 talking. And then she goes, yeah, she's like, so if you have any questions about that... um." Uh, I am leaving on the 24th. That's my last day at Sunco. So if you have any questions, hit me up before then. And like one of the guys from the, the reporting team is like, well, way to just drop that bomb on us. And she's like, I know, right? And, <sighs> you know what? I can't even fault her because like it's, there, there's no reason to blame her for any of this. No, no, none of this is her fault. And that's the thing that like really upsets me is that she could have had she like they could have kept her. She could have stayed because they could have paid her more, which she absolutely deserves more money. And two, uh, they could have let her be remote, but they didn't. They chose to not keep her. They chose to throw away one of the best and most experienced and most knowledgeable people in the entire credit union. And mm -hmm. this is a group of individuals. Like, there are, what, like four? What's what's the number like fifteen, sixteen hundred, or something like that? People that work for the credit union, and a, like lot, a lot, yeah, and a lot of them are lifers. Like we have people that have been there forty plus years. Like people go to this place and they stay there. That's how much they enjoy working there. And for someone who has only, I say only, but only been there ten years, like she knows practically everything. And if she doesn't know it, she knows exactly who to go to to find it out. And it's just the absolute best. And it sucks. Like, we, we're like, it sucks. So mm -hmm. we, are, we are acting the fool until, um, you know, until like for the rest of whatever. Because fuck them. Fuck them. Uh, yep. So, um, so that's how I'm kind of doing in general. So, I'm very upset about our product owner leaving. Um, very glad and relieved that our manager is back in in with us. Um, uh, I I mentioned it on Monday, but I had um. 
I actually got my first um uh, um I got Wait, did it happen? No, I guess it happened Tuesday night. Oh no, I found I I saw that it happened on Monday, but then like all the stuff went through like late Monday after stream. Um I got a paid voiceover gig. I got a paid voice acting job. Um so super excited about that. Um, talk to the director for it. It's a training video for some federal government thing. Um, so, you know, nothing like um, like glamorous. Um, but I got that. And that uh, talked to the director, like I said, on Tuesday. Um, went through and recorded everything. Sent that all over. So just waiting on their review and to release the payment. And then and we're all good. Um, so very, very, very excited about that. Um, got another couple that I'm shortlisted on right now. Uh, three in fact. Um, so there's potentially another three in the pipeline. Um, so my goal was to do it by the end of September, by the end of Q3, which is the end of September. And I got it. I got a paid job. Uh, I also reached out to a buddy of mine from my hometown. Uh, he's actually the guy that got me into radio, uh, specifically production of voiceovers. Uh, he taught me like all the basic shit that I know about it. He taught me. Um, and I reached out to him. I said, hey, man, you know, it's, you know we, we talked for a little while because it had been a while. Um, and so... Uh, I'm like, listen, you know, I, he's like, what are you up to these days? I said, well, working as a software engineer for a credit union, um, you know, really enjoying that. But also I'm getting back into the voice stuff. And he said, really? He sounded really interested. And I said, yeah, man, um, you know, I, I want to take this thing, like actually go in a serious direction with it. Um, so I'm trying to do that now. I told him, you know, I'd been streaming on Twitch, which by the way, uh, coming up on a fucking year, um, like we're at like 10 months now just about since the the channel went live um so the year is coming up here in a couple of months um let's see but we've got um we've got some big stuff planned for the next few weeks too but I'll I'll get to that later um but I said yeah so you know trying to take this thing seriously he's, and he's like you know i always need voices i always need different voices for the stuff that we're doing um he currently works for a radio station cluster in my hometown in the surrounding area uh, it's actually an espn cluster um and uh he um he's their production manager he also works for a marketing firm that the guy that runs the the espn clusters the station cluster also owns um, so, you know, doing stuff back and forth that way. Um, so yeah, very much looking forward to getting some work from him. He told me he could probably have me at least a couple of months, which I'm very, very excited about. Uh, he's like, you know, it doesn't pay great cause it's a smaller market. It's not like a bigger market, like a, you know, like a New York, Chicago, LA, or even like a Tampa, Orlando, something like that. I mean, we're talking about, you know, rural Georgia. Um, and I said, you know, that's not, I'm not so concerned with how much I'm getting paid for those. Cause like one, I'm getting paid, which is, yeah, like I'll take the few bucks. Uh, but the biggest thing is that this is stuff that I can work on and keep and build into a demo reel later for something bigger. So, you know, I do a few small commercials, few local small commercials now. And maybe a year from now that turns into like a big, you know, maybe a national thing where I'm, I'm the voice of a TV spot for 13 weeks or something. Who the fuck knows? Um, so that's kind of where I'm going. Um, so that's, that's part of the, the big stuff that's been going on this week. So like I said, a lot of ups and downs, uh, but just trying to keep it all balanced and focused and everything. So, yeah. 
Is that part of the the dreams and aspirations that you've been wanting to talk about? It is. It is. And that, I think, is a great segue. Um, well, first of all, I, how's your tooth feeling tonight? Because I know like you've actually been doing pretty all right. So is it still feeling yeah, all right? Yeah, good. Yeah? I've been good. I've uh, decided to slightly start throwing caution to the wind a little bit and um, having... Um, more more food foodie foods not just the softer stuff yeah though i do still i still had my my kfc mac and cheese for lunch oh i mean it's still pretty good stuff we Uh, still got mashed potatoes in there i'm gonna eat those eat that too Ooh, ayla finished adding stuff uh by the way if you've never seen ayla stuff go check out ayla stuff it's fantastic and if you don't follow her follow her because when she does get the opportunity to stream, it's always a wonderful, fun time. Um, uh, she's very, she's, she's very much into and very good at the minecrafting. So, and then every once in a while, she'll she'll do some of the spoopy stuff. Like she does love her some phasmophobia. Um, so yeah, follow Ayla and buy some of her stuff. I mean, you're you're a hell of a lot better than I am. Um, let's see. So, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I think we glossed over it on Monday night. Um, but this guy, this guy got his, got his, his tooth lengthened for his crown. So I'm not a hundred percent sure. Like what that means. I'm not sure if they like, this is kind of gross if people don't want to pay attention to this, but I don't know if they like pulled my tooth out a little bit or if they like pulled my gum back or what they did. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how it works either. I'm not sure what a, I'm not sure. Like they call it a crown lengthening, but I'm not a hundred percent sure what that means. Yeah. I'm listen, I'm, I'm no dentist. I don't fucking know. I mean, I'm not an elf from the North Pole. How am I supposed to know how dentistry works? Um, Boy, that is a really random reference. And I think you have to be, like, above a certain age to get that reference. They pull the crown out and put in more filler and replace the crown. Oh. Usually there's a... They didn't put any filler in... Like, this isn't... This wasn't the crown itself. This was, there wasn't enough tooth out of my gum for them to put the crown on. I have a temporary crown on at the moment, but they didn't actually, they don't actually have enough tooth to have the real crown grip onto it. So they had to do, they had to expose more of my tooth in some way, shape or form. I just don't know in what form that took if they did something to my gums or if they pulled more of my tooth out i'm not sure either way he's got stitches in his mouth right now but it's okay i also have a puppy that wants to go outside oh he's such a good boy he's very small and very very energetic like he's extremely energetic like even for an old pupper or especially for an old gonna, pupper. It's going to be 10 in March. I know. I know. And he's still playing around like he's two. And I got him because of my ex-wife. She was at home all the time and depressed. And we were like, well, let's get you a puppy. puppy. Puppies help with that, right? So what you're saying is that... Bowser is the only good thing that ever came of you being married to your first wife. Sure, we'll go with that until until I can think of something else. I mean, the fact that you have to think about it, I, it's pretty indicative. <laughs> but I mean, let's be real. He's a very good boy. I'm going to find see if I can find me a picture of the good boy. He is such a good boy. I can send you one if you don't have, if there's not one 
in Critters recently. Eh, it shouldn't take me long to find one. You did post that one of him uh, with his freshly cut hair not too long ago, and I would love to, f to grab that one real quick. Oh, that's a... Oh, that's a good one. Well... Yeah, let's show this one. I like this one, yeah. Yep. Okay, so... Uh, this... This is the Bowser. And he's oh, in. I love that picture of him so much. I know, I know. That's why. That's why. That's the one I went with. That was. Uh, he was just a baby. That was us when we were moving down to Florida, and um, I was tasked with one job and one job only when we were driving down here, and that was to make sure that he behaved himself. I AKA I sat there and played on my DS for the entire car ride because he is a very good boy and will fall asleep in the car once it gets up to like 60. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, look, look at this very good boy. Look, st stop and observe the very good boy. Observe the freshly groomed, very good boy and essence of lollipop. But mostly the very good, excited boy. Oh, he is so happy. He's just, he is loving that car ride, man. He's a very good boy. Just a good pupper. He's a sweet pupper dog. Really is. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Oh, yeah. So dreams i say dreams because like i don't know i like goals and aspirations almost sounds too like sterile i guess is the the way i keep kind of thinking about it um but yeah i, I mean i guess i guess i did have a goal of getting that that first paid voice acting gig and I got it um this is something that I'm going to continue pursuing pretty heavily because I would like it to in eventually be a career um I know that it probably won't be an incredibly glamorous career but it's something that you know I would like to work toward anyway um Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I, well, I mean, you take baby steps with it. That's what you're doing. Comfortable retirement, including golf. Not no, and that's and that's that's the thing, man. Like Dunnigan, you are like I gotta tell you, buddy, you're kind of nailing it. Like you're you're. You're doing it pretty okay. And I mean, you're you're living out some of that right now. Like you've been an avid golf lover for ever. Um but you are working on that comfortable retirement. And you know, um you're busting your hump to try to get there. And I cannot wait for the day that you get to put it all down and just pick up a putter and just have a fucking ball. No pun intended. Because uh, that'll be a that'll be a good day. That'll be a real good day. Plus, that means you'll have uh, more time to come and visit. I'll I'll cook you some foods. God, I love cooking for people. Jesus Christ, I cannot wait until we do another Nomster Jam. I miss Nomster Jam so much. You sure do. Fritz, is that one of the things that you miss that the pandemic took from you, is golf? No, uh... I, hell, I miss just getting out of the house in general. Um, oh, I love you, buddy. Enjoy your dinner. Say hi to Cheryl for me. Um... 
quack, meow, or in my native tongue, roar, 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 roar. <laughs> That's bear, you see. Oh, Fritz, that sucks, man. I'm sorry. That's, yeah. That's, that's the suck. Yep. Now, Mr. Jam is your favorite holiday. I, I mean, honestly, like, mine too. Um... We thought about doing a Nomster Mash this year, but I think with everything that's going to be going on in October, I don't think we're going to. Because um, we've got the uh, Sydney's having the baby in a few weeks. Um, and that's pretty much it. Like, that's, that's where things kind of like slow down because we're going to be helping her out and spending a lot of time with, with all of them. Um, and yeah, but you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be the an baby. uncle, <laughs> the baby. I would like to see the baby. Mm. <laughs> uh, when's the new season of that coming out? Like next year? I have no clue. I got that off TikTok. Fair enough. Cause people have used it for their for their cats now. That's fair. Ooh. Oh yeah, Fritz, that's That's a that's yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. That is one of the things I uh was really hoping for when we were house hunting was vaulted ceilings. Yeah, we like, do. Yeah, obviously it wasn't a deal breaker, but so um I don't think I have the other camera plugged in. I don't grab it at some point but um i actually have vaulted ceilings up here obviously we can't have them downstairs um but we've got vaulted ceilings in here so um this ceiling in my office slopes all the way up the roof line so i have like all of this space on the wall over here and i'm really trying to figure out what i want to do with it because there's just like so much stuff that i would be able to see um hmm. but i don't know yet I don't know. I'm I'm like the wedgie picture. Like the wedgie picture. I want to hang stuff up, but like I don't want the wedgie picture to be like, you know, over there. I want everybody to be able to bask in the glory of this sweet angel kitty baby. Like look at him. Look at this boy. Like just 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 the best kitty boy. I love that I have an eight by ten of somebody else's cat. That's fucking if that's not just, if that's not on brand for me, I don't know what is. We need to talk Krakow into making one for Elliot too. I'm sure. I'm sure he would. I'm like you have plenty of Elliot content with which you could do this. Mm-hmm. Um, you have a golf course here where you live, but it's too expensive to play. Yeah, which is funny because my HOA dues pay for the golf course maintenance. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. So, so you pay to maintain it. Fuck HOAs, man. So Jesus glad we don't Christ. have one here. Also, don't tell Bean that you have a golf cart because I'll never hear the end of it. We just don't have anywhere to put a golf cart. Also, I don't have golf cart money. But we don't have anywhere to put a golf cart. So this is like the hot tub thing all over again. I swear to God. Sure is. Don't you do it, Ayla. Ayla. Uh, yeah, HOAs. HOAs are... HOAs are poop. Poopy poop poop. Like, 5% of HOAs are good. Just the part that's like, hey, don't, like, like, put a bunch of shit in your yard. Like, keep it clean. You know, like, don't be a fucking slob. If you want to be a slob in the house, be a slob in the house. Hell, my entire existence in the house is slob, and I haven't, I, I don't even leave the house. Like, this is just, I'm just... I just exist in here, basically at all times, like in this chair. Like this chair is where I live most days. With these headphones on. Talking to this guy. Chuckle, chuckle, fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck. It could be worse. 
yeah, I don't blame you. Like our, our HOA here is not bad in this neighborhood. Um, the biggest thing is that our dues cover the roof. So if something ever happens with the roof, I don't have to worry about it. It's warrantied. And in 15, 20 years, they'll replace it again, like they did right before we bought the place. Um, the pool, there's a pool on our street, um, which we haven't been to in a while, but I wouldn't mind going to here before too long. Uh, the outside, the yard maintenance, I don't want to do the fucking yard. Not not now, not ever. I fucking hate yard work. Mm. I fucking hate yard work. And it almost killed me. It it did almost kill him, it's true. He listen, y'all have to understand. Poor poor sweet precious lollipop. He's allergic to basically everything. Mm-hmm. And the yard work, it just gives him all of the <laughs> Like it fucks him up. Mm. Top of bug bites. Yeah. And all that jazz. Oh, blueberries. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Oh, blueberries. I could, I could, I could deal with though. Like blueberries are fairly easy enough to avoid. I, I would think. Um. That is kind of wild, though. Like, are you allergic to other stuff too, or just the blueberries? It's wild. I'm glad I don't have any allergies. I'm I'm very thankful for that. That's that's one thing I can just like, and go through and just eat whatever the fuck I want and breathe whatever the fuck I want and drink whatever the fuck I want, and then the next day, it's like it never happened. I did eat a lot of steak at dinner, though. Oh, the tomatoes, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Tomatoes are on and in all kinds of shit. That's, yeah. Every sandwich and salad. And then you got to think of all the things that have ketchup on them. Or in them. Like, sauces that are tomato-based. Um... Jesus Christ, if there's one thing I fucking love, it's sauce. You might say you can get lost in the sauce? I can, in fact, get lost in the sauce. That's a different kind of sauce, though. I'm just, don't mind me, I'm just holding my little miniature screwdriver. Oh, okay. He's All right. a baby. Well, the cooked ones are, the cooked ones, that's good. That's, at least you can deal with the cooked ones. Um, oh God, fuck, I love me some sauce. Uh, just, I am, I am, I am that motherfucker that will go to the fridge and pull a bottle of whatever sauce out of the fridge and take a shot of the bottle and just go on about my life. I am that fucker and I don't care. Judge me all you want. Judge away. I don't care. This is who I am and this is, this is how I will continue to live my life on the sauce. Or the dressing, or whatever it ends up being. You know, I'm not, I'm not that particular. I like sauces in all their different forms. Ah, uh, yep. Right from the can. Right from the can. Yep. I'm. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Sauce. Now I'm thinking about sauce. I had au jus with my prime rib tonight. I, oh, y'all, I got I had prime rib dinner tonight. I'm so bad. I don't care. I ate it all. I'm so full of food right now. But in my defense, it was it was kind of like my celebration dinner to myself for getting that first voiceover job. Also, I have the the dine rewards that they have it out back, where like when you buy three meals, you get the next one like. Fifty percent off, up to twenty bucks. So I got twenty bucks off of dinner. Meow, 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 meow. Viv, what kind of food did you get? What kind of what kind of din dins did you get? I must know. I must know. 
Oh, ground beef tacos. Mm, nom, 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 nom. We have this taco seasoning that um, Sabrina's mom made a bunch for us a while back, and I don't think we've made another batch of it since because we got like like a whole jar of it. Um, and hey, listen, canned chicken noodle soup, sometimes that shit hits the spot. I had chicken noodle soup for lunch today. So there you go. I got mine from the Boston Market, which is weirdly interconnected but you know what that's fine that's fine it it works but yeah ground beef tacos yeah we'll use that taco seasoning just season that motherfucker up and just go hey listen don't don't judge me i needed chicken noodle soup that was basically the only place nearby that i could find that would deliver it that had it and could and would deliver it and I got a turkey I got a turkey dinner too with mashed potatoes and gravy and some mac and cheese and that was delicious. Holy shit. You got a turkey dinner? Did you get a turkey dinner? No, I didn't get a turkey dinner. I didn't um I didn't pay extra for the chocolate coating. Mm. Yeah. So just regular turkey. No turkey for me tonight. That reminds me, I gotta ping the artist at some point and see how Cause I, I'm still doing that. Boston Market mac and cheese is 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 pretty damn good, man. With those fucking spirals, like that shit is legit. And that sauce, that cheese sauce is so like saucy, like it's just so like liquidy and good. Like, oh, so good. <laughs> Don't mind me. Get so excited about food. It's great. I really do. I really do like. I can't help myself. I just love Bubba, we invented the sweet potato casserole down here. And I almost got it. I almost got it in place of the mash, but I was really feeling the mash today. Which they had watered down a little bit and it's fine. It's I mean it's Boston Market. Like it's I'm not expecting it to be like, you know, primo mashed potatoes. But I almost got that sweet potato casserole today. That shit is the tits. Um, speaking of things that I love. Uh, but my dad. My dad makes the best sweet potato souffle. It's basically the same thing. Um, but like in his sweet potato souffle, it's like the whole top is just a layer of toasted marshmallow. It's just the absolute fucking best. My dad, like, my dad makes a lot of good food. But there are two things that he makes that are just like hands down, second to none. One, his sweet potato souffle. Two, this man makes a delicious ass cheesecake. Let me fucking tell you. Like, he made it and brought it down here from Georgia, down here to Tampa, a couple of visits ago when uh, him and my mom came down. And this fucking cheesecake, like, I told Bean about it. I'm like, listen... I know you like cheesecake. This cheesecake will change your life. She's like, okay. I'm like, no, no, no. Trust me. This, this is the cheesecake you want to eat before you die. She's like, all right. And so he brings down this cheesecake. And she takes a bite of it. And she goes, oh my God, you weren't fucking kidding about this cheesecake. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Again, two things. Sweet potato souffle, cheesecake. Those are the ones. Yeah, I, I mean, like, Boston Market is what it is. Like, it's, Boston Market is like cafeteria food wrapped up with a nice bow. But you know what? I fucking love cafeteria food, so it works out. God, I fucking love cafeteria food. That was one of my favorite things about being in fucking high school. Oh, God. And biscuits and gravy? Ayla, is there anything that you do that's not just, like, awesome? Like, just, just like, stop. Don't stop. But stop. But don't stop. It's, it's better than, it is slightly better than average. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what it is. It is. But, you know what? It is one of the few places that you can just quickly walk in and go, hey, give me rotisserie chicken that I don't have to do any work to. 
It's like anywhere else. You buy a whole one. You got to cut it up blah, 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 or start pulling it apart. You get all messy, blah, blah, blah. No. I'll just give you a fucking plate. Here. Here's some pieces. Just eat fucking... Eat fucking rotisserie chicken. Just eat your chicken. You tell him to get his shit together, Ayla. Get his shit together. Get it together. Figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. Okay, so... Now that food has derailed us... Um, and if any of you like would like to, to, to jump into voice with us in the Discord... You can join the Discord. Come in the Discord. And if you would like to get on voice with us to talk about some of your dreams and aspirations and whatnot, jump in the stream chat lobby and I'll we, we can we can bring you on, on air with us. Um We can work it out. We'll figure it out. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Just figure it out. What, figure it out. Figure it out. What Viv, what goal did you smash today, buddy? Because I wanna I wanna hear I wanna hear about your wins. Tell me about all them W's. Tell me about them dubs or whatever the fucking kids say now. I don't know what the kids say. I'm like a hundred. Um, I'm I'm still just jazzed that I got a like, I got shortlisted for a few jobs. I got hired for a job, a voiceover job. Like this is just like, this is fantastic. And one of the ones that I got shortlisted for, that they haven't decided on yet, but I got shortlisted for, um is um a, a phone like a phone system job um but um well yeah we'll talk about that in a second so first of all viv super proud of you buddy um getting your imaginary money number up is a pain in the ass i i have i went through that for several years and i'm finally at a point thankfully um, I'm very privileged to be to a point where my imaginary money number is is in a very very good place. Also, I don't need to borrow anything right now because like the only outstanding debts that I have are the one credit card and the house. Um, everything else is monthly stuff like the utilities and and whatnot. Uh, so very very thankful about that. Well, I guess we're still paying off the bed, but. That's like that's like a hundred bucks a month. It's not that big of a deal. Plus, that'll be done in in March. So, um, but other than that, the the house and the uh, the credit card are the only other debts that I have. So, uh, I'm very thankful about that, and that has helped me get my imaginary money number up. Um, but yeah. Uh, Wait, what are you, what are you, Ayla, what are you trying to, what are you trying to order? I gotta know. Okay, also, Resonance Blaine, I'm looking at you. Okay, I'm, I'm coming in for this one. Listen. Get, just, get your little fucking house chicken, Okay. Get like another little house chicken, one that sits on your shoulder. Stop trying to get chickens in your fucking yard. Inside city limits. Stop that. Stop it. You bad child trying to get fucking chickens. Uh. <laughs> you and your goddamn chickens. She has been trying. The person behind me owns chickens. Well, that, you're not in, you're you're yeah, you're in an area where where that's overlooked. <laughs> there, you also have a person behind you that owns a tortoise. Tank is so cool. He's listen. Tank is tank is tank is a bad motherfucker. Don't butcher your chicken at home like that. You don't just but you don't just. Don't just you don't just casually butcher a chicken. She has Lollipop, she has been trying to get a fucking chicken at home for like the last four years. Ask me how I know this. But Zunder, how do you know this? Because she's she's been trying to get a chicken since before she worked for me. 
Well, I yeah, I know, I know. And they drew the the line yeah, stupid but, around your house. I know, I know. Yeah, but you see, chickety China, the, the Chinese, Chinese chicken, chicken. You have a drumstick, and your brain starts sticking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your dog killed a turkey. We can't have chickens. Oh yeah, ooh yeah, yeah. That's yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Viv, I've, I've, I've made like I have had instances in my life where I put blind trust into folks, and I also learned the hard way that you can't do that um thankfully those weren't anything that were necessarily tied to money well not some of them were but not to like my credit um but i i understand that feel at, at a in a very deep level what i'm saying is i get you buddy and i'm sorry but, but you're getting there. Sammy, no, what the what the hell is what the hell is Sammy Chicken? Oh, good lord! This is, yeah, um that's a chicken. Little little financial life pro tip. If you if you lend out money, don't assume you're getting it back. If you can't afford to lend out the money, don't do it and yeah. don't assume you're getting it back. Yeah, that's that's It's uh... it's just it's just better that way. Yep. Fritz, t typically in in typically like chickens in houses aren't like a necessarily a Tampa thing, but wild the chickens thing. wild chickens are a Tampa thing. There's in like like Lollipop said they are an Ebor City thing. Uh, Ebor City is an old cigar district um, in Tampa near downtown, and there are wild roaming chickens, um, and. That is absolutely a thing. Yes, I know you love your Ebor chickens. I know you do. I encountered them while I were playing Pokemon Go, and that was a time. Oh, I bet we were still new down here. And then, yeah, and like you, you, you see chickens, and you're suddenly like. What the fuck are their chickens doing just walking around out here? Oh, there you go. There I got I showed I showed the Sammy chicken on stream. So you're welcome. There's a new game on Game Pass where you have an immortal sick chicken sidekick. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Hold the fuck up. Or if, if this is on Game Pass, what is this called? Do you know the name of this game? Because but Zunder, what is Game Pass? Oh Jesus, you're gonna do this all night, aren't you? Right now I am. All right, fair enough. Um, well, Game Pass is a service that Microsoft provides that's basically all you can eat gaming. Um, currently, there are 395 games available on Game Pass for console, 381 games available on Game Pass for PC, um, and combined with EA Play, and 296 games that are available to play through the cloud. Um, if you don't have Game Pass already, you can buy it using that link in the chat. If you do have Game Pass and you want to see all the stuff that's out there right now for Game Pass, you can go to Game Pass Counter. And that's where I look for the lists. There's a lot of really, really good shit on Game Pass. Um, whenever I do the you pick, which by the way, you can pick what games that we play on stream, uh, or I play or whatever. Usually, usually I try to, you know, we try to do stuff together, but, um, 
the game that I play that you pick for you pick is um, a. Uh, I, I usually end up playing the cloud version if it's available. Um, that way I don't have to install anything. I don't have to do anything. I click a button and like 15 seconds later, I'm playing the game on an Xbox Series X in the cloud, which frankly is pretty nice. That's kind of the beauty of Game Pass Ultimate too, is that you don't have to have a console to play console games because there's 300 of them in the cloud. There's a literally 296 that are cloud enabled right now, spanning all the way from like original Xbox 360 and Xbox One and Series SX. You're saving up your points to pick any chicken theme game? Okay. Listen, as long as it's on Game Pass, that's all that matters. That is all that matters. Save up those points. That is a. But Zunder. Yes. 300 titles? That sounds like a lot. It would be great if there was a place for me to track all of those games. Like Game Pass Counter? <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. Okay, I'm done. I'm done right, Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Oh, right, listen, you, you, you were committed to the bit, and for that, I appreciate it. Look, now I'm going to play with a chopstick instead. Um, so, yeah. We like the <laughs> Oh, my God. Yep. Oh, I'm closing browser tabs, and I'm I saw the I saw the Bowser pictures again. What a good, boy. A good boy! He's on he's under my feet right now. Yeah, just kind of chilling out. Mm -hmm. He's a good boy. He's a very very good boy, and we love him. Um. So, um, real quick programming note. Uh, again, for those who um haven't heard, this Friday there will be no stream. Um, usually we do Fortnite on for Friday night shooty fights. There will be no Friday stream this week. Um, we will be back on Sunday. Uh, I'm playing Hades on Sunday. That was Tom's you pick. And then the following Sunday, um, I'm doing, um, uh, well, we're for those of us who are interested, which I'm sure Elena will be into it. Uh, we're doing age of empires two multiplayer. Um, so that's going to be fun. I'm very much looking forward to that because I've played like Age of Empires 1 recently because I've played the Definitive Edition. I have not played Age of Empires 2 in a very long time. So that's going to be really fun to get back into. And um, I don't even remember like what all civilizations are in it. So we're going to find out and we're going to have a great time. Um, yes, I do want to do cartoons. That is one of the things that I would love to do. Um, a couple of the voiceover artists that I know that I really admire, um, Rob Paulson, um, Rob Paulson has done all kinds of stuff. Um, but notably he's noted for his work on Animaniacs, um, and other related properties. Um, um, Billy West, who... If you're younger, you know Billy West as Fry from Futurama. If you're older, you know Billy West from Rin and Stimpy. Um, let's see. English, French, Teutons, Chinese. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That sounds familiar. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and then uh, Jim Cummings is... Um, one of the ones that I, he's like, for me, he's like top tier, uh, Jim Cummings. Okay. He's been a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff. Hey, uh, Hey Lollipop. Mm. You know that movie with the big green guy who lives in the swamp? Um, the Hulk? No, no, no. Different one. Different big green guy. Swamp farts a lot, you know. Mm, doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> um, let's see. Somebody once told you that you should know who this guy is. Mm. Couldn't be Shrek. No, nah, couldn't be who Shrek. Who would talk about Shrek ever? So in Shrek, um, uh, if you you know the you know the scene where they're rounding up all the fairy tale creatures 
and like there's like the main guard sitting at the desk determining who gets yeah shriek shriek that's the one um where they uh they're rounding up all the the, the the fairy tale characters there's the one guard that's sitting at the table and he's the one talking to everyone um he's also the one who ends up like telling shrek that he's like you know he's like he has to come with him he's like you there ogre <laughs> um <laughs> that's jim cummings and as resonant spleen all always said um uh that's also the voice of winnie the pooh ayla i love you so much go go get in the bath have a relaxy go feel better i love you so much thank you for being here oh bother oh bother ping me later let me know you're doing all right um fritz that's incredible that you got to do that um so um what <laughs> rob paulson is yes <laughs> rob paulson is the voice of pinky from pinky and the brain um alongside maurice lamarche who did who does the voice of the brain um but yeah rob paulson is just fucking outstanding um original darkwing duck i i yes i think you're i think you're right let me check let me check yes dark jim cummings voice darkwing duck sure did um we found out today that the uh uh so there's the woman who is the voice of tails in the sonic franchise um and the uh it has been since 2014 now um and um the guy who is now the voice of sonic in the movies um they both have they share a birthday and it was today so sonic and tails both had a birthday today which i thought was really funny um god what is her name i cannot remember what her name is um let's see colleen o'shaughnessy that's she's the one that voices tails uh and then ben schwartz uh ben schwartz uh who is uh he was john ralphio on parks and rec who is just hilarious uh ben schwartz was also one of the triplets on the new c uh, series of ducktales um woo. woo john ralphio saperstein that's right um but yeah he uh uh, I think he was, I think Ben Schwartz was Dewey. Um, Danny Pudi is Huey and Bob, Bobby Moynihan is Louie. Um, so yeah, uh, new DuckTales series, which is over now, by the way, but it's on Disney plus. So if you get a chance to watch it, very fun, very good. And for the first time, they actually had an actual Scotsman playing um, Uncle Scrooge. <clears throat> and not just any Scotsman. No, no. They had the doctor himself, David Tennant. So that's pretty amazing. Um, but yeah. DuckTales. Ooh. ooh. Uh, also... Not yeah. to continue shilling for Game Pass too hard or anything, but uh, I uh, was looking at the Game Pass benefits mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. over the weekend, I believe, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, a month of Disney Plus is included in that right now. That's true. You can get a, a free month of Disney Plus, or is it for like a dollar? It's something ridiculous. Uh, let's see. <coughs> Where is it? Because it like ultimate gives you all kinds of shit. Let's go. Let me see what the perks are right now. Because there's so much good stuff. Oh, Beck Bennett is Launchpad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm a pilot. Like, so fucking good. 
so so good Let's... honestly game pass has made me want to try play uh pso2 just because it keeps giving out free shit i mean honestly like there's like i've seen a lot of that lately uh let me go in the xbox app it might be in here because a lot of times they'll have the perks in the xbox app um yeah there it is so there's stuff for fallout 76 uh there's stuff for apex legends fantasy star online 2 mlb the show rogue company splitgate has some stuff which I would like to try Splitgate at some point. That looks really fun. I know Zondefron has been having a blast with it. Um, and I know a couple of other folks who have really been enjoying it. Um, if you like like old school Halo and you want to mix Portal in with it, that's what Splitgate is. It's literally like Halo multiplayer plus Portals. It's really fun to watch. Uh, and it, it very clearly is inspired from Halo because like the game modes are named the same basically and if they're not named the same they use halo's team or game mode name to describe how you're supposed to play it a lot of the weapons work the same yeah it's it's halo and L but name plus portals yeah um they also have um like the announcer the they have even like the similar announcements so like slayer oddball play ball that's one of my favorites yeah so like game pass ultimate you get 30 days of disney plus for free right now and four months of ad free spotify premium so that's pretty cool but yeah yeah but i i welcome my google overlords for my uh music streaming service so i'm still doing pandora and i'm really happy with it and i'm still doing pandora premium i'm i am very mixed on youtube music because in some aspects it it's been fine. It's been great. It's been really convenient to be able to just add YouTube videos to my music playlists so that I can listen to different things. Can't say that their app is up to par, though. It's it's just. I can't put my finger on it, but something about how like shuffle decides what to play, I end up getting the same exact like routine of songs every time I play and then it just inevitably ends up off my playlist after like 20 minutes and I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. They, they need to, they need to work on that a little bit and like give, give us back Google play music. Uh, yeah, honestly I was like, it was, I was on board from that day one and I loved it. Um, I just got an email. Uh, like in the last five minutes from, um, so there are a couple of places where I go to apply for voice jobs. Uh, one of them is voices.com, uh, which is specifically for voice acting, um, style jobs. Um, and like things like the actual voices, audio production, music, translations, things like that. Anything like around the voice stuff. Um, the other one that I frequent is called Backstage. Backstage is a site that is used extensively by the film and TV industry for their casting, but a lot of other folks use stuff here too. I got an invitation to apply for a role, which means someone looked at my profile and said, hey, we want you to apply for this role. The role is a brand ambassador for this robotic vacuum holiday program. I gotta check this out. Let's see what this is. Seeking brand ambassadors to distribute promo materials and engage with customers to help a well-known robotic vacuum company. Well, we'll now hold the fuck up. What's well, the... This, this might have been like a, a spray. I, I mean, I'll look at it.
Let's see what we got here. Like, if I got to go anywhere and do shit, I'm not going anywhere. Like, I'm not. This isn't my. my... Let's see what the role says. Uh, seeking brand ambassadors to distribute promo materials and engage with consumers to help promote a well-known robotic vacuum company. Uh, professional pay, seventeen to nineteen dollars an hour. Runs every weekend. This. Oh, they they actually yeah no 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 I'm I'm not feeling this. Is it making you travel somewhere? Yeah, it's like a, like a. Yeah, I don't. Hmm. I mean, like the, a lot of great, great stuff. That's that this that this is like this agency does. Don't know if this is my my thing. I think they're just like reaching out to people directly. Um, ooh, I got to take care of something real quick. I will be right back. Um, yeah, so give me give me just a few minutes. I'll be right back. After these messages.
explode. I'm gone for like two minutes. I'm gone for two minutes, and you children, you bad children. Listen, I don't know what you want from me. I don't. I don't know what I expected, honestly. I just don't know. I'm acting up right now. It's fine. Oh, I forgot to shut the door. Shut the fucking door. You're letting the air out. Listen, listen. Alley pup. Ooh, ooh, I have the button. I have the button. Where's the button? <gasps> don't, don't come. Bean, don't kick the door down. You know, one day that door's going to break, and then I'm going to have to be the one to fucking fix it. I want to have to fix the door. But if she does, it will be adorable. Not for me, it fucking won't. I still think it's a little cute. Not when I'm replacing the door, no. I will... No. No, no, Ayla, no. Ayla. We specifically talked about this. Ayla, we talked about this. That is the, that is the opposite... That is the opposite of what I said. Oh God, here we go. Here we go. <coughs> so there's this, I gotta, I gotta find it now. I don't even know if I have it. I gotta see if I. I gotta see if I have it. Let me look for. Oh God damn it! That is literally the opposite of what I said. Oh Jesus Christ! I can hear she's screaming from downstairs now. Thank you very much, Ayla. No, you're no. welcome. We, Ayla, probably. No, we don't know, woman. We don't have a place to put a golf cart. No, stop screaming about a golf cart. Uh, no, we're not getting a golf cart. This... Where's that? I gotta find the... I don't even know where that picture is. I, it, you must have it somewhere, Bean. <gasps> Danielle! And yay for Kitty! Yay! Well done, Kitty. Well done. Well done. Um... Bean, you have you have two options. You can either park you can park the Rav in the garage or you can park the Rav outside. Those are your options. If you want a golf cart, the Rav goes outside. The golf cart cannot literally cannot stay outside. Well, there you go. Then we don't get a golf cart right now. One day when we have room for a golf cart. An indoor rav? I thought it was a free range rav. No, no, hers is a very domesticated rav. No, 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 no. Her rav is an indoor kitty. <clears throat> very, very much an indoor kitty. Bean, you gotta send me that picture of, of you on the golf cart. Cause I don't have it and I don't see it in the one folder. I mean, I'm I'm looking, but like I, I, it's not in a folder, which means I'm never going to find it. Yeah, Bean's going to... So, <clears throat> uh, one year for... Love you, Miss Danielle. Thank you. I love you, love you, love you. Hi. Hi. 
Bork Bork sniff hack? Yes. Um, oh my god. <clears throat> Jackson was doing a heckin' Bork earlier. More sleepy in, Borks? In Xander's voice. <laughs> no, no. Oh. An awake Borks. Oh no. At like 6 o'clock because he wanted food. And Jordan was like, that is a that is a big bark. And I'm like, yeah, sorry. He does he does okay. get the hungries. It was an hour early. <clears throat> I was like, why are you barking at me right now, dude? He was hungry. Sorry. He needed he needed his nommy noms. He was hungry. He was hungry. I mean, it, it's simple. Boof boof. It's I mean Bork Bork sniff heck. Bork Bork sniff heck. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> a few years ago for Bean's birthday, uh, we went to Disney as we typically do on such occasions, and um, like you do, like you do, and we stayed at um, we stayed at Disney's Fort Wilderness, which is the um, like the campground there with like the the sites for RVs and the cabins and everything. So we got a cabin because <clears throat> it was just the two of us. And the two of us, sorry, Bean wanted to, uh, she wanted, she wanted to rent a golf cart. So we rented the golf cart for her birthday and there's this picture of her sitting on the golf cart and I've never seen her more happy in my life. And we got married four months ago. I've never seen her happier than the day she was driving the golf cart. (laughs) The wedding is a the wedding is a close second, but it's a second nonetheless. There's like there's like wedding golf cart. You know what I found out? What? This is super random, but I just found this out. Um with uh Oop. if you group like things together. Mm-hmm. You get a bonus on them. Oh. So like the jetpack and those things, if you group those all together. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Bonus. Yep. That's true, you're right. I did not know that until earlier today. Okay, so I have to You were today years old. I have to show you this one this picture just because like it's this is completely unrelated to the golf cart because I was looking in. We have a shared folder with a lot of our our pictures. Um, mm-hmm. so a little over a year ago for Fourth of July, uh, we went to go stay with Sabrina's aunt, um, her aunt Melinda. And first of all, let me tell you a couple things. One, uh, there's nothing that Aunt Melinda can't cook, and when I say can't, I mean like the woman is like she's incredible. Um. I mean, as obviously more than just a chef, but like, like her food is a stuff of legend. <clears throat> she is the appointed family cook. She has an industrial fridge and freezer in her kitchen for fuck's sake. They expanded her kitchen to put in it, now. And this is like, it's a, like a triple wide, like it's a, it's a big ass trailer, but they expanded the kitchen specifically to put in this fridge and freezer. Okay. Um, but she has this dog. His name is Oscar. And Oscar. Oh my God, I've seen pictures of Oscar. You've seen the pictures of Oscar, like the ones where he's sitting in my lap curled up? Yes, you showed yeah, me. a wiener dog. He, he is. is. He a heckin' cute wiener dog. He is. However, I found a picture from... Almost eight years ago now, of Oscar on me, very excited. Oh, what a happy pup! This was the day that he was so excited to be on me that he peed on me. Oh, you told me. Yeah, you 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 talked about that at one point. Yeah. I don't know if that's shadow or if that's actually where he peed on me. That might actually be where he peed on me right there. My stream keeps buffering. It's very annoying. Twitch needs to stop being twitchy. Twitch has been really twitchy. It happened. Mo's OBS just cut off on her earlier. It's like, oh, we were disconnected. I'm, it's reconnecting. Like that happened to her earlier. But yes, Oof. this is this is the very good boy Oscar, who is my my very good best friend pup. He's a very good boy. He's very cute. He is. 
Let me go see if I can find the more recent picture of him. Let's go to my camera roll. I'm going to be searching in this folder forever. But I want to find this pup because... What a good boy. Oh, I'm actually not far off. Oh, a Shiba? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, Shibas are so cute. They are. Oh my god, I'm so excited about my kittens. May 4th, 2018. Oh, that was I'm anniversary. So about oh, my kittens. That was an anniversary have I, have I trip when that happened. Did I mention that I'm excited about my kittens? You, I, I think you mentioned you it once or twice. Are you excited about your kittens? Because I am heckin' excited about my kittens. Okay, I'll go look. For, I'll go look for that in a second. Bean, is it in that folder somewhere? Um. So this is a picture. Um. Oh, Bean sent it to me. There we go. Okay. All right. I'll 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 show that one in a second. So this is a picture of Oscar from last year. This is my little nap time buddy. Yo, yeah, you showed me that one too. He's so cute. He's just sitting on my lap and just laying down and getting some scritches. That's, that's like panda. Um, Ayla, I posted I posted pictures of my baby kittens in the in the critters channel earlier. I was maybe mm -hmm. dying a little bit of cuteness in <clears throat> voice. Sunder can totally attest to it. Cans confirms. I was I was dead. D E D dead. Dead. Um and then later, the Oscar, he, uh, then he curled up and went to sleep. He's a little sleepy shrimp. So cute. Little sleepy shrimp boy. He was my buddy. He laid there for a while, getting all the good pets and all the scritches with his floppy ears. Sweet little weenie dog. Floppy ears, a flop, a floppy ears. And then let's see. And then there's, nope, that's not the one I want. Where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. That's the picture of Bean on the golf cart. And once again, <laughs> the happiest Bean has ever been driving a golf cart around Disney's I mean, Disney's driving Portland's. a golf cart is a lot of fun. It is. It is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. She, she, was, she was doing the zoom-ins. Wait, Ayla, you want the kittens or the golf cart? Well, she has a golf cart. <laughs> Gail, Ay Ayla has a golf or cart. The bean. Or the bean. Do you <laughs> I, want the I know, bean? I know. I know. Also, or the bean. Do you want the bean? Do you want the bean? Yes. That's that's I mean, also. It's, bean is best is best human bean. Who wouldn't want the bean? You but if you want the bean, you 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 bean won't go there. She you have to come here if you want the bean. Uh she will not go there. She's uh California's a hard no for her. I mean, my mom lives in California, and it's pretty hard to know for me too. Yeah. See. Yeah, you can. I mean, you can. You can. You can borrow the bean. You can't keep her. You can borrow her. There is a restocking fee. <laughs> is it about tree fitty? About tree fitty. About tree fitty. All right, let's see. Yep. So yeah, that was uh <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not, I'm going to decline this invite. I don't think I want to go out and be a brand representative for a uh for a robot a, a well-known robotic vacuum company. I don't think that's really my thing. I got an invitation really. to apply for a role. 
I feel like you you should should have given that one a shot if it was at home. Yeah, like if I could be here the, doing this. At this point in time, I don't feel like going out for anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. The fact that I have to go into the <clears throat> office one day a week is almost more than I'm willing to deal with. And it's two blocks away. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. But it's not so much the distance as Just to... the, there's no fucking reason to be in the office. Like on uh, on Friday when I have to go in, there's literally going to be two of us in there. and And it's... There's no reason. That's literally it, Ayla. That's the only way. That's literally the only thing that she will go out there for is golf cart. Or if you can corner Sebastian Stan and tie him to the golf cart, then she'll go out to California. (laughs) Sebastian Stan, the guy that plays the Winter Soldier in the Marvel Universe. (laughs) Oh. Yeah. She'll buck his E. Yeah. (laughs) Mood. Also. Damn it, I'm um, falling behind. I know, I know. Uh, also, uh, uh, I don't know if you, you weren't here for this earlier, Allie, but, uh, well, we did a thing tonight, me and Bean. I mean, Bean okay. did it, but, like, you know, on behalf of both of us. Mm-hmm. We, 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 we got something. Oh, yay. So I have, a, I have an 8 by 10 of Wedgie. She has an eight by ten of Bubba, and I'm I'm thinking about hanging the wedgie like right back here, like next to the hundred acre wood. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I haven't gotten that far yet. Oh my god! I didn't realize my that's thought, what that was. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. My thought is, if you do that, you should move our Discord icons to a different corner so that we are not covering up said wedgie. I I'm. Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Um. So uh, we got distracted with like food as usual and golf carts and stuff. Food distractions? What? What? Um, but uh, let's kind of get back to the topic at hand because let's since since I actually had the you know the responsibility to come up with a topic for once. To that robe life. That's listen. Listen, I have several back here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. I have eight because there are a couple that are doubled up back there. Because, like, the, the video game one has one behind it. The blue one has one behind it. I think that's it. I think that's it. So the eight. Um, we did. We bought uh, Sydney's Sydney's wee nugget Ellie, uh, the 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 Ellie that's in the belly. Uh, we got Ellie her first robe. In the belly. Oh, Ellie in the belly. So that's what that's what Bean has has taken to calling her is Ellie in the belly. Um, we got her her first robe, and Sydney is a huge fan of giraffes, so we got her this little robe. With a little hood and it's giraffe print and it's got the little giraffey ears on top. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, we're really excited about that. And like I said the other day, um, we're very happy because um she's huge. She already has hair and she's already flicked us off once. So, you know, good yeah. on her. I don't even have to teach her that. Now I just got to teach her to say fuck all the time, and I am going to be the bane of everybody else's existence. But you better believe. Don't I'm gonna... you have to teach her to flick off her other uncle though? No, sh- we're gonna this. This is going to be like battling back and forth. Oh. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. also step one: learn how to flick off. No, she's got that. She's done. She did oh, it. He, like she's she, already done that. She literally yeah. fl- like. So we but all got on. to go to see like the the 3D ultrasound a couple of weeks ago. And like at basically at the end of the session, like you could tell she was getting restless from being like having the thing probing all over Sydney. And like at the end of it, like by the end of it, like we have a picture literally of, of her like this. Like we literally have a picture of her like this. It's phenomenal. Like I was That's what I'm that's what I'm saying though, is that you're she's learning the art of flicking people off already. Now you just need to hone 
who to direct it at. Now, Ayla, Ayla, where could Finley have picked that up from? Where, oh, where, where could she have picked that up from? I, I can't imagine. I, I could not imagine where. Like, it. Interesting. It's just, huh, hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Um, Indubitably. Quite, yes. Mm, yes. Quite. Mm, yes. Cheerio. Right, I right. Cheerio and all that stuff. I, I don't. Fuck you. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Get fucked, mate. What you fucking insinuating there, bud? Blame Tab. Oh, yeah. It's Tab's fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You're right. You're right. I believe that. Yeah, I totally believe oh. that. Oh my god, I can't wait until tomorrow when we get to see Blonde Tab. That's going to be oh a... God, I'm so excited about Blonde Tab. That's going to be wild. I'm so excited. She hasn't posted a picture, has she? No, she's waiting until tomorrow. She, the oh, only okay. picture she posted was her hair all foiled up. Okay, folks, I'm not even kidding. Like, I kid you not, this child flicked us off. That is a middle finger, yep. It sure is, bud. It sure is. That is literally that child going like this, right the fuck here, at us. Like, that's... A proud aunt and uncle, that's right, god damn it. Bad baby. <laughs> uh, taco, I taco. I know. Oh, she didn't bring one this time. Lockhart goes, Shaco oh. Taco. Dang, yep. No, it's okay. It's okay. I didn't think about it either. But how about those Chaco Tacos, though? I need I need Chaco Tacos in my life. You really do. Everybody needs Chaco Tacos in their life. Frankly. I, know. I think I think everyone deserves a Chaco Taco. Except fascists. Fuck fascists. They don't deserve Chaco Tacos. They can rot in hell. Actually, no, fuck them. They don't even get hell. They can just rot. That's fair. What's your new dream? That's not a dream. That's more of a fantasy, but you're... I mean... What, is she caught in a landslide? <laughs> <laughs> no. Sebastian's standing on a golf cart, she says, is her new dream. I try, I'm try. i trying to tell her that's, that's more of a fantasy than a dream. She's... I mean, it can be a fantasy fulfilled. Okay, fine. Ayla, if you run into Sebastian Stan, time the golf cart, um, man, ping me, let me know. We'll, we'll make it, we'll make it work. You'll go out to California for him. I mean, that's, all right, that's fair. No, I, yeah, I, I understand. Wait, what? He lives over this, on this side of the world? Where does he live? Oh. Well, never mind, he, he lives on the East Coast, he lives in New York. I mean, I'm sure he's got to go out there to film. He is he is a star of 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 stage and screen. He is, yeah, yeah. He was in that Tanya Harding movie, you know. He had that porno stash. I yeah, I know, I know. You just you just looked right over it. Can't really notice the porno stash when you're looking at his dick, huh? Am I wrong? I d fine. You can't give me a lewd. You can't do it. It won't let you do it. Yeah. See, Ayla says he comes out there. She said, "Come out here. She'll make it happen." He comes out. He goes out there to film. You can't. You can't give me a lewd. Yes. The only okay. Lollipop did it. She's she's typing out a response. Okay. She says, "Don't worry. Yeah. I got your back." He's he says he's got your back. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. That's really annoying. Okay. Okay. Please stop now. Jesus Christ. 
I fucking knew it. But what if she politely says no? I fucking knew it. Yeah, get out of here. Go take a cold shower. Fine. She said no. That's... I mean, that's fair. That one's on me. Um... Well, let's see. I mean, I talked about my stuff. Like, Dunnigan mentioned that he, you know, he wants to retire and play golf, which is, ooh, a robe with a design on it. Yeah, that's that. I need to, you know, at some point, I need to get a, um, I need to get a Captain Hopper's robe made. I can't put Captain Hopper's on the Captain Hopper's robe, on the, the Milkman robe, because the Milkman robe has to stay pristine. It is, it is in its final form. But if I got another robe and put it on there, ooh, I could put it, I could put it on the white one. That might work. It is. The, the, the Milkman robe is sacred. It's, yeah. It's, it's been a mainstay for a very long time. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, love you, bye. Enjoy your shower. Um, yeah. Okay, so I've talked about my, my dreams and stuff, and what, what about you, Lollipop? Do you have any dreams or aspirations? Um, I mean... I've achieved a lot of what I've wanted. I'm, in fact, honestly, the fact that I'm in this state is one of them. But I know that that's kind of weird given what's going on now. But I didn't know Florida was going to fuck up a pandemic this badly. But I didn't want to be in snow anymore. And you know what? It's just stuff like that. It's, I own a home down here. That's another goal. I just kind of. I don't know that I have any other new goals or anything like that. It's just kind of. I'm kind of in a in a state of picking things up. Like that's kind of where I'm at at work. That's kind of why I shut up in a lot of meetings. Is because I just sit there and try to soak up what I can. You let the rest of us argue about it. Well, that too, yes. Yeah, you do like to let us argue about it. Hmm. And in Among Us. Also, yes. Also, yes. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'm going to do... I've been kind of feeling the pomegranate lately. I'm going to do some of the pomegranates. Ooh. Hey, look, our, our, our Fauci ouchie cards. Fauci ouchie. Well, like you're, you're in California, Ayla, like it's kind of, you know, it's okay to feed bears when you're in California. That's fine. That's, that's okay. Hmm. Need to resemble your Lego collection. That's true. That's true. You do. And you have a you have a pretty damn impressive collection. I need to work on mine some more. You do need to work on your new stuff. You do. You really do. I need. I still need to figure out how to set up my desk to be able to do that better. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mm -hmm. So you can do it on stream and stuff. Yes. I gotta tell you, the other night when you were doing your needlepoint on stream, that was just so nice and chill. I love that. That was so much fun. I I am definitely planning on doing more of that. That was really good. Did I show you the, the most recent one that I got that I'm going to work on besides the hold on, let me overthink this? Mm -mm. Let me find a picture. <sighs> so, I have a shelf behind me. Um, I'll have to take a picture of it later because the camera's like way out here. I can't quite reach it and I don't want to fuck it up. Um, but I have one of the Ikea floating shelves here. I'll, I'll grab a link and put it in chat. That's what we have at my house. The Ikea floating what shelves? what I had at my house. Yep. 
I think I have the lack shelf. You loved what my chill frosted stream, Kayla? Do, do, do. Series lack. Wow. All of the furniture in this room, except for the chairs, is IKEA. That's an IKEA we'll be doing more dresser. Kayla, for sure. These are IKEA desks, tables. You know, all of my stuff used to be IKEA, and it's less so now than it used to be. Yeah, it was really chill for me too. I, uh, I, I definitely enjoyed it. I okay. definitely want to do more of it. All right, so that is the shelf that I have up behind me. Um, I think that's the right one. Yeah, because that's I think that's the six foot one. Um. That's the shelf that I have up behind me with all of my the stuff that I have on it. So I have a couple of bottles of booze that I'm never going to drink. Um, I have a Doc Brown Funko Pop. I have a, um, a die-cast model of the Back to the Future DeLorean. I have a Lego Back to the Future DeLorean. Um, I got a little bucket with a bunch of stickers and shit in it. I've got my Winnie the Pooh is up there. My tiara is up there. And and just, just I mean, like, I know y'all believe me because you've been here long enough to know. Actual I, tiara. I, I believe you. Actual tiara. There you go. That's my tiara. There you go. So, in a couple of, like, old computer manuals. Oh, you have that one, Fritz? I love that one. I love that. That one was so much fun to put together. It was so fun to put together. Like, it even has, like, a little, like, Lego license plate, the out-of-time license plate on the back. Or maybe it's the barcode one. It's one or the other. I can't remember. But it's really, it's a really good one. Um, but yeah. Ooh, the, the original Death Star. Yeah. Wow, that one's been a while. Oh my god, I want that. Yeah, name your price, Ayla, because uh, Ali Pup, she'll pay for it. I'm not kidding. Mmm. I would too, Fritz. Well, I really would. I mean, I, 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 do, I do have... It's like within reason... Because I think on Brickling, it's like two grand plus. Yeah. And I can't justify that. No, that's fair. Oh. Oh, that's. Well, well, Ayla, if you decide to offload it, keep me in mind. I know, I know a, a, a more, a more, a, a more grown up kiddo that would like to put it together. I don't know who you're talking about. Mm -mm, bork, bork, sniff heck. Nope, definitely not me. Mm -mm. Nope, not at all. But yeah, I would love the 1885 courthouse as a set. Like, with just like all open and everything, because it's just like the facade. Or like even with the like the stage in front of it, where like ZZ Top is doing their thing and playing double back. That would be... That would be really cool. Did I tell you I broke a billion units again? Yes, you told me you broke a billion units again. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, how did you when did you become obsessed with playing No Man's Sky? It's your fault. Is it? Yes, it is. All right, that's fair. It is absolutely 100% your fault. That's fair. Cuz you're the reason I started playing. Most things are my and fault. And even if you haven't kept playing, I am still obsessed. I would say I would say at least once a week there is a there is a meal purchased by the lollipop household that is my fault. I mean, this same. He's out of line, but he's right. Yeah, like 
Sometimes it's KFC for everybody. Sometimes it's PDQ for everybody. Sometimes it's just sushi for Zundefron. But the point is... I was going to say, I ordered sushi because Zundefron ordered sushi because you were talking about sushi. Yeah, so that one's my fault. Yep. That one's also my fault. Yep. Um, yeah, oh yeah, totally. Yep, yep. Listen, I'll take credit. I don't give a fuck. I'm not, I'm not mad about it. Uh, well, since you're here... Oh, I had Taco Bell yesterday. With that fucking Baja Blast, baby. Um, so, since you're here, what about you, Miss Alley Pup? What kind of what kind of dreams do you have, and what kind of dreams have you achieved? Uh, I don't know. Fair enough. I have a hard time coming up with things. You're just trying to live your life. I'm just. I'm just roll in with whatever do it Ayla. like when i when i Tell when him. i talk to my financial people about um about money stuff and they're like so where do you see yourself in 10 years and i'm like i don't know bro i don't know where i see myself in 10 minutes i might not even be in right? this room right now i don't fucking know 10 years that's that's way too way too far away. That's 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 real I, far. I do not know. That's real yeah, fucking far. I have no clue. No, no, none whatsoever. Mm -mm -mm. Um, yeah, I would I would like to make the voice thing and like a combination of this and the voice thing to be a career, which means the voice thing would have to become a career because this ain't gonna be a career. No. No, this will never I be guess. a career, folks. I guess my next like short term goal is I want to figure out like I want to find the right house to live in next that is enough but not too much and uh that's that's like my my big current dream. You know what? That's and that's sometimes it's like it's not necessarily something far fetched. Sometimes it's just like you know, an incremental thing in the right direction, in or in the direction that you want to go. You know, that's sometimes that's it. It's just sometimes it's the little stuff that ends up building up to the 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 ultimate goals. Like maybe now it's just like, you know, the house, but eventually it's like chilling out at this house with the puppers and just enjoying life. I mean, I want to be able to like foster cats and or dogs again i think that would be so a very a place good where thing. i can do that because yep. i did that when i was younger and like at one point i ended up with um not nine cats in my two-bedroom condo because i took in two sisters and one of them ended up being pregnant and had seven kittens show them the mom lights halo show them the mom lights works every time <laughs> hashtag mom lights hashtag mom lights Boobies. Yes, those are boobies. Well done. They make me smile, you see. They do. They do. She's talk they're talking about boobies. Unlike other times when they're talking about penis. That's uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's when we're talking about boobies still. That's also okay, true, yes. That's when I'm talking about penis. Oh, by penis. the way, uh by the way. Penis. Um, the, uh, um, you weren't here earlier, Lollipop, so I had to, on your behalf, uh, it was like, um, like earlier today. What? That's cool. That's a lot of text. Sorry. That's fine. All right. Um. Anyway, uh, we uh, Ali Pup and I were on on voice earlier, and um, she said something, and because you weren't there, I had to to serve in your place and go. That's a penis. Yep, it's true. 
I am very happy that this this happened. That was a lot of words. What the hell is that? I don't know. I think it's a bot. A word. How old is this account? Bot, if you were there, say something. July fourth, twenty twenty one. Do I do I ban do I ban the the bot? Uh, and like. Bleep bloop. Inherently, I don't. They, they didn't say bleep anything. Bloop. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, it was just a. That's a fair point. I mean, no. All right, I'll I'll take the bleep bloop. And the binary. Also, bonus points for actually having eight bits. Well done. All right, this is this is like the new say something not body. <laughs> oh, that's the that's a that's a binary for the lowercase v in ASCII. Okay, which is ironic because all the v. That's you know what? That's that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Have you at any point in time in your life failed a CAPTCHA? Uh, uh, <laughs> have Give you, us a beep boop if you have ever failed a CAPTCHA. Have you have you ever failed a Turing test? Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure that you have that you have successfully passed the Turing test? <laughs> Welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Um, <sighs> I I would say you another blood enemy. Uh, All right. <laughs> ah, another but, like, short term goal for me. But how can he be blood enemy if you're a bot? Uh, ooh, well, <laughs> kind of got you there. <laughs> <laughs> you sent the mob lights, and now you get to talk about. I told nice you, job, Ayla. Ayla. I told you every the time. Always work every yep. time. Um, I would like to figure out something that I'm more passionate about, I guess, for like work, find something that I actually care about doing. That's yeah, that's understandable. Is there anything in particular that you know that you enjoy doing? Um, I mean, I like giving back. So, you know, like maybe something more like non profit Voluntary kind of thing. Yep, yep. Um, I uh, actually I called somebody that I used to work with um, here, but uh, before I moved down to Florida, um, God, like thirteen years ago now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, John. <laughs> the L is silent. I love that. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> um. So the uh uh god I guess it had to be 13 a little over 13 years ago when I moved down here um cuz I moved here in at the end of June of tw- 2008 um but before I moved I worked for <laughs> Ayla I thought so too I like too. Volvo better I, thought I so like too. Volvo better <laughs> Volvo's more more interesting than uh than than John That's true that's true uh but if we still get still in school when you moved down here, by the way, I know you Stop were. It. I know you were. It was college, at least. Stop yeah. it. I mean, I was in college when I moved down here too. <laughs> Stop it. No, 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 no. I I took a long time to finish college. I, took I know. A very so did I. Time. But still, stab it. it like fifteen years. Um, mine was nine and a half, so you know. Oh, yeah. I was in and out real quick. Two yeah. years done. That's what he said. In and, in and out, out for two now. years. Uh, no, just in that real quick. Volvo and Chubby. <laughs> um, so I work for this nonprofit. Um, it's a, a religious nonprofit, um, but they still do really, really great stuff. And they're actually, um, by, by all indicators, um, they're really fantastic. I mean, that's that's fair. That's fair, Volvo. That's fair. 
Um, but they're they're all about like medical programs um, in areas of the world that don't have access to good uh, medical care. Um, uh, so I worked in their IT department and I worked for their help desk. Um, so I got to talk to folks in, uh, let's see, uh, I think in, where was the one office? Was it in Ecuador? It was cause it was in Quito. Um, so there was a, there was a satellite office in Quito, Ecuador, um, which was Olipop, have I ever told you about like the mysterious second mail server that I used to have to manage? No. Oh, Jesus Christ. Short version is they had their own mail server that we had to route mail to for just the people that were in their office. So they had an exchange uh -huh. server that was separate from ours, but we had to get the mail to them for the same domain. It was a interesting. It was a pain in the ass. Eventually, I talked them out of it, and we migrated everyone to my Exchange server. Um, that was also the last time I worked on SharePoint for any like huge length of time. SharePoint. SharePoint has its pros and cons. I'll say that. Sure, I fucking hate it. Mm. So, um, <laughs> but. That was a really great place. Um, like, um, by basically any measurement, like they, like ninety nine point five percent of their, like everything that came in to the nonprofit went to the programs or goes to the programs still. Um, like very, very, very little overhead and fundraising costs and stuff like that. Um, so very very efficient with the money and the resources that they are, that are donated to them. Um, so I get that. I understand that. That was one of the, that was a fantastic job that I worked at. Like a lot of really good people there. Um, and I, I am not a religious person. I know we don't talk about it. We don't, that's, that's a topic we don't talk about, but just as a frame of reference, I am not a religious person at all. Um, but being that that was, you know, a thing that was sort of incorporated into the DNA of that particular nonprofit, they are. And um, one of the things for people who had been there, I think 10 years or longer, it's either five or 10 years or longer, um, but they had these, um, like these hand painted, like basically calligraphy of scripture. Um, um, that was the I forget the exact passage the like the 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 verse it's in the book of Matthew but like um, when you were sick you cared for me whatever you did for the least of these you did for me um, which I believe is from the Sermon on the Mountain anyway the point is um, Mount just Mount the Sermon on the Mountain mm -hmm. sure it's again it's been a while I I know it's fine it's fine it's, it's fine. been a while I'm, I'm a I'm a recovering Catholic so I you know you, you... had it kind of beaten into me for my childhood oh i was baptist so i was literally i literally had it beaten into me um nah, no but um um but they they had these and they're like individually numbered um and everything and it's it's really really pretty i was there for not even a year and when I left, they made they like they, they made a special exception to give me one, and that was like it, it was the kind of gesture that I really appreciated. Like that, they thought enough of me to make an exception and give me like this thing that they have a very limited number of. Um, when I left to move to Florida, like they had like a whole little going away party for me and everything, like. They gave me like pool floaties and like little like um, like beach toys and shit with like sandcastles and little shovels and shit just as a joke because uh, I know I was moving to Tampa and so it was just it was really funny and really sweet but um, like they were really really good place and like when you work at a place where they're doing good things for folks and they actually believe in the mission and they they you know 
show that they do, that can be extremely fulfilling. So I certainly, I can certainly get why that would be something you would want to do for sure. For sure. Um, I had, uh, you know, I, I, something I mentioned kind of leading up to show, uh, was, you know, not just dreams that we have and dreams we've obtained, attained, uh, but also dreams we've left behind. Um, and I actually have one of those that's, um, I have like the big one for me. Um, so I was... We all know I'm a fucking shill, okay? We all know I'm a fucking shill. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it, okay? We all know. <clears throat> I mean, I have a button on my fucking stream deck to light up the Game Pass logo, for fuck's sake. Um, But for the the longest time in my life um from the time i was like i want to say like nine or ten i wanted to work there i wanted to work at microsoft um and i applied off and on for several years um it's at that time it was really hard to come into microsoft from like the outside as someone who didn't come in through an internship and also didn't have a college degree. Um, so, you know, every once in a while I would still pursue it and apply for positions that I thought I would be, um, I would be, uh, what's the word? I can't think of the word. A qualified positions that I would be qualified for. Um, and so about three years ago now, I want to say. <coughs> it was like the week before Christmas in 2018. Let me see. I might have it on my calendar still. Let's go back and see. Yeah, I think it was the week before Christmas, uh, 2018. Um, I actually got an interview. I got an interview at Microsoft. They flew me from here up to Seattle. Wow. Uh, um, they flew me up to put me up for a few days. And I had an all-day interview for... Um, <laughs> Lollipop's going to get a kick out of this. The debugging tools in Visual Studio, that team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yep. Uh, so I went up there the night before my interview. Um, <clears throat> I got to have dinner with several friends of mine, uh, some of whom that was the last time I had seen them. Um, and, uh, the, the interview was, I had four different people, individual interviews with four different people. Each one I was whiteboarding. It was about an hour a piece. And like in the middle, there was a, um, uh, a lunch break. So I had two hours, lunch, two more hours. And every time I talked to someone, I went ended up going higher in the management structure. Um until I got to like I think like one of the VPs for Visual Studio. Um or like one of their principal engineers or something like that. I forget what exactly his title was. Um but as the day wore on the more and more I did whiteboarding, the worse it got. Because whiteboarding sucks. Like writing code on a whiteboard and trying to mm -hmm. logic shit out on a whiteboard sucks. Because you don't write code yep. on a whiteboard in real life. You write code on a computer in real life. 
where you have things like a compiler that tells you what's wrong, and then you have an IDE which will tell you before the compiler tells you that you did it wrong and offer suggestions on how to make it right. Um, and you have things like a stack overflow where you can go look up information. The point is whiteboarding sucks. I used to like it, I hate it now. Um, and uh, so like the day got worse and worse. Like it started off pretty good. Um, and before I started, um, there was someone who is one of their, oh, I forget what the high one is. I think it's distinguished engineer is like their high level. Like there's, there's a very small set of people who have ever been distinguished engineers at Microsoft. Um, and she is one of them and her name is Laura. Um, and Laura is no longer at Microsoft. She's gone off to do some venture capital and startup stuff. Um, but she was, um, what well, you know, Microsoft to do the Microsoft to do app. Um, not long after they spun it up, they put her in charge of it. And like most of the really good features that it has now, she was responsible for leading the team to implement it. Um, so, uh, she brought me a batch of cookies, um, that morning and, um, came in and gave me a hug before the interview. Cause she's just wonderful and amazing. Uh, and I did my interview, had my cookies went out to the rental afterwards knew I had done poorly especially at the end um and then that night I had a red eye back so like I flew late from Seattle had like a first thing in the morning layover in Charlotte and then um flew from Charlotte back to Tampa I landed in Charlotte got off the plane sat down to chill out for a little bit Got out my phone, went to look on the careers website to see if they had started leaving feedback yet because they're really, they really push for them to leave feedback. I didn't have feedback. I had a thing that said I was already like declined for the position. So I didn't even make it home that night before I figured out, before I found out on my own that I didn't get the job. And the recruiter never like sent me the, like I emailed the recruiter multiple times about feedback, never got anything. Um, so the one time I finally got an interview at Microsoft in my life, like job at my dream company, uh, I bombed it and I decided I was never going to do it again. I decided that was it. Um, there were a couple of jobs over the last, like over the next like year and a half, two years, I guess about a year and a half that I applied for, uh, after that. And, but like nothing ever came of it. So I was like, you know what, this is it. I'm done. I'm done. I decided that was obviously that was not meant to be that ship sailed. And, uh, that was it. Kept on going, kept on trucking. So why is, is it, is this bright? Yeah, that's a little better. Um, eh, okay. Maybe it's, that's a little, fine. I'll leave it alone. Whatever. I keep fucking with stuff. Um, anyway, so yeah, that was it. That was the, I decided that uh, the thing that I wanted to do since I was about nine years old, I no, no more. Is what it is. So sometimes I mean, you've you... still made you still made something of a career out of it, though. So like, not even it's not where you wanted to be, but at least you're doing that. And I am. While while we might not like recent decisions, it's still one of the better places that I've worked. But being perfectly honest. Haha, <laughs> Ailey, you can't do it. Um, yeah. I I I will say that. That's like of all the times I've thought about looking for another job in the <gasps> last oh. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it nine times. I can do it all night long. Oh, wait, that's something else. Sorry. Rude. <laughs> um, 
Always, Ayla. Always. That's true. That's true. She she do be having your back, but she always do be lewd too. Um, yep. <laughs> but uh, like I've I've thought about several times looking for something else in the last couple of years since I've been at the uh, at the credit union, um, and I've had a couple of things come my way that were like it would be like a fifty percent raise over what I make now, which I make. I make good money now. Um, but then I look at it and I like look at where I am and I'm like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to change that. Like this week is the first time I've, I've considered maybe I don't, I don't know that I want to be here. And it's not any, again, like my management structure is great, but it's like the credit union as a whole. I don't know. Boy, that's a, it's a, I don't know, man. I don't know. So it is what it is shown to me is that for sure this place isn't infallible and that there is there is the possibility that long term we may or may not want to be be here for that long and that's fine that that, it's always a realistic and probably something that you should always just keep your mind on you know especially with our profession but at the same time um given how our specific department has handled this pandemic as a whole yeah i don't want to go anywhere until this is at least until we're at least on the other side of this yeah yeah that's, that's like honestly like our management structure the way that they have handled things over the last 18 months I'm I'm extremely pleased with it, um, and like the, f- the and I've I've said this several times to several people over the last couple of days, but the way that our immediate or like our management structure, especially our VP, who specifically hired us to be hybrid, and is now like, why do there's zero point in going into the office? Um, don't come into the office, like just stay home and relax. Um, like just the fact that he was able to adapt and then, you know, make sure that we're, we're getting the shit that we need and, and we're on a good, a good place to get our work done. Um, Oh my God. Do you have the, do you have pup cam up? Panda was just like right at the camera. She turned around. Oh, and a pop. Um, I'm I. That has instilled a lot of confidence in me, at least in our department specifically. Yeah. So. Why well, I'm not worried about it for the moment, but I'm still just livid with the other half of our department, though. Like, so am I. So am I. This is the stupidest reason to lose an employee right now, and I hate it. Yeah, Volvo, we're we work together. Lollipop and I actually work on the same team at work. That's how we met. We work together. Hi, Panda. So now we spend we spend approximately uh, twenty seven hours a day talking to each other. <laughs> I thought it was more like twenty nine. Eh, well, like I get, I have all the meetings and stuff, you know. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So yeah, we work together. We have uh, for almost two years now. Yeah, you've been at this place for two years. I will be two years October seventh. I want to say. Mm-hmm. I was about to say it's about th- about three weeks. Yep. Yep. So, yeah. Oh my God, she's so cute. Oh my God. Okay, I got it. I got it. Just for just for a second. Just just for a second. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just we'll show pup cam just for a second. It's fine. It's this fine. is like legitimately the best part about this new place is me setting up the pup cam and having this chair. It's like legitimately the best thing i like i love it i love everything about this 
Like, and I love that it's like a giant oversized chair that you can just go over and just like plop over with them on. Oh yeah. Like I can curl up with both of them comfortably. It's so, so good. Look at those pups. You would have traded taco for taco. Oh my God, Ayla. <laughs> you should have held out. I would have traded taco for taco. I, listen, you know what? You know what? That's on him. But frankly, yeah. I, I would be, I would just be happy with the mom lights. By the way, uh, these are these are Miss Alley Pup's pups, and if yeah. you don't follow Miss Alley Pup, Rude. oh nope, that's the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> I Oops. mean, but you're not wrong. Oh, I'm that's not wrong. Fine. I'm sure she's owed that for something. Yeah, anyway. listen, it's yeah, we'll we'll catch up. <gasps> I'm totally not a Muppet, and I'm totally not excitable about anything ever. You're very, very deadpan, and frankly, I'm I, also never sarcastic i really ever. wish you would just perk up a little bit just just a smidge I know. just a hair i'm sorry i'm sorry just a little like come on like give us a little bit of excitement every once in a while you know i don't know <laughs> yeah it's lewd not My to know who Allie is no ayla that's that's not lewd that's a yikes if you don't know who ali is you don't follow her that's a yikes <laughs> that is a yikes um <laughs> oh my god uh yeah so uh folks any parting words before we start to wind down anything yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe smash the <laughs> it's notification it's not time for that, that one yet there early because fuck you Allie. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow wow that's just nice. that's just that's hilarious. That is chef's kiss right there. That is just absolute fucking chef's kiss. Uh, I love it. Folks in chat, is there anything else that you would like to to talk about tonight? I uh, I would like to say I appreciate y'all being here. Um, I'm this this like just looking around all of this. This means a lot to me and. Mm -hmm. That's okay. hold on a second. It's fine. I love that the last thing that I typed in chat Rude. is that, so I could just arrow up to it. Um, <laughs> pain, pain is. Um, I I love y'all and I appreciate y'all being here. Um, like we're like I said, we're coming up on a year. Uh, November, end of November will be a year since I started doing this. Uh, I oh didn't. My God, end of November is going to be two years for me. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Uh, I didn't expect this to. I didn't expect this to to keep going. Honestly, like I didn't expect to still be doing this by now. Um, but y'all have proven me wrong in the best way, and I appreciate that. Um, we have a lot of really cool stuff coming up. Um, I've got some announcements that I'm going to make. Next Friday stream, this Friday, we're out. Uh, since I won't be here, you should watch Miss Allie Pup. Allie, are you gonna Hi. are you gonna play the fork knives this Friday? Are you gonna do the the shooting fights? Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do fork knife or if I'm going to do more craftiness. Ooh, the crafty stuff is it? Probably crafty. That is a good call. I'm thinking. Yeah. Um. So watch Miss Allie Pup this uh this Friday. Um. You know, wind down from a long week with some chill that sounds lovely um but i'll be back on sunday actually you know what let's go ahead and where's the i'm like i'm really digging this is the intro and the outro I, I might find a different outro but like this is the intro on group therapy night it's just i'm really into it um but I'll be I'll be here on the Sundays. Oh my god. Um Well, but thanks for stopping by, friend. I appreciate that. Um I really do. Thank you. Uh Fritz, that's that is all y'all, buddy. That is that is that's all y'all. That's I just I just click the buttons to put together a place where y'all come hang out. Y'all make the magic happen. So, 
<laughs> the magic is loot as hell. The magic is loot as hell. That's true. Sure is, bud. That's very true. Um, we're all loot as hell. That's that's mm -hmm. also true. Yeah. Um, we have. Let's see. This Sunday, I'm playing Hades. The following Sunday, I'm playing Age of Empires two. Is Hades single player? It is. It is. Okay. Yep. It is a roguelike. Um, so, um, looking forward to that. I watched Tom play it actually the weekend of my wedding. I watched Tom play it quite a bit to help me relax. So, um, I'm looking forward to playing it myself now that it's out on game pass. Um, oh my God, Ayla. Ayla, are you telling me I have to go, I have to keep going for another three hours? Is that what you're saying? Uh, um, hmm. so, but yeah, um, Next Friday, we've talked about this, but next Friday is the Mario Kart stream. Actually, should I just go ahead and transition into the, yeah, let's, yeah, here we go. All right. That does feel more normal, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, next Friday, the 24th, we are playing Mario Kart. And I have a shit ton of people that are going to be playing Mario Kart. Hell yeah. How three more hours would change my life, Ayla? I, I guarantee you. Um, it's okay. I, I got, I got this one. I got this one. It's fine. Um. <laughs> so there's a there's a about whole. Penis, you see that that's that's yes. I I, I yeah. That's that's a penis. That's, that's a penis. A penis. <laughs> um, we have a shit ton of people playing Mario Kart with us next week. Um, follow me on Twitter. I'm gonna make the announcement probably tomorrow. Um, but I've got a lot of stream announcements to make next Friday night. There's a lot of changes coming. A lot of cool stuff. I'm very excited. You will be excited. It's Iceberg needs it for everyday hustling. <gasps> matter. 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 Love your face. Matter, ping me on Discord because I may have a slot open. Um, <laughs> yeah, you do. Hey. It's okay. I got it. What? There you go. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to announce the, the roster tomorrow. Um, and I'm just going to start getting everybody together so we can, um, where everything's in place, but very, very excited about Mario Kart night. Um, well, yeah, matter, obviously. Yeah. Did you, did you expect any differently from me? I mean, yeah. Um, why? so yeah, we've got, we got some great, great stuff coming up and some really great announcements coming up for, um, some, some fun exciting stuff coming to the stream so be here next friday not this friday hang out with ali pup this friday also i'll see you on sunday because this friday i'm out um and i think that's about it uh is there anything that i've missed I already said it, so we're good. All right, that's fair. And I'm not going to repeat it because he already said it. That's true. You did already say it. Uh, by the way, folks, if you're not following or you have friends that aren't following, I really would appreciate a follow. I'm trying to get to 250. He really wants to give that away. I really do. I really do. I won't shut the fuck up about it. I he have really this three-month code burning a hole in my pocket. Three months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. It, it's for PC and console. It comes with EA Play for PC and console. It comes with perks. There's just all kinds of shit. I just want to give it to somebody. He really wants to give it away. I just want to really give it away. Badly. I'm 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 tired of looking at it. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Yeah, that one. Yeah, like like the chili pepper said. Yes, that's what I want to do. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Um that's about it. Again, I appreciate y'all being here. Um this is this is my favorite night of the week, so um All right, let's see. Who who's who's doing stuff and things? Fire is uh, puts around on the community server, I believe, that he, he just set up. He is, isn't he? Mm. That's right. where Elena was at tonight. She was Ooh. dipped her toes into that. That's true. Ooh. That's true. Um, yeah, let's go see Fire. 
I do, I do love me a good Mr. Fire. All right, let me go click the button. Button. Bet you do. You get out of here. Get out of here with that shit. No. All right, fair enough. All right, folks. You're not my supervisor. I'm nobody's supervisor. But your button. But you are. Whose supervisor am I? Adult. God damn it. Thank you, Vivian. I gotta represent. Fred I Hubbendo. know. I know. Just because he's just because he went to sleepy sleeps. Yeah. Um. All right. We're gonna go see Fire now. Um. Be good to him. He's he's very very good people. We love him very very much. Um. I will see y'all on Sunday for Hades for you pick night. Um. Until then, be good to each other. Have a fantastic rest of your week and weekend. Um, and we'll see you on Sunday. Bye. Bye.